Hello there and welcome to the Arnold uh, Ambient Occlusion Light Filter uh, Walkthrough slash tutorial. <clears throat> so provided you have uh, installed the uh, shader correctly, the procedure is as following. You have some assets here. Uh, let's try and, and, and get a render going. So as you can see there are no shadows, there's no light. It's just the default light going here. Um, I want to um, quickly go to the this one, overwrite, and we basically just temporarily overwrite all the shaders, <coughs> so we can, should get some some gray stuff going here. Okay, so we're interested in adding an ambient occlusion light filter on top of all these assets. Uh, normally, um, we would uh, go into all the assets and add ambient occlusion to the shaders uh, manually, but uh, with this uh, filter, <coughs> that is not required. So let's see how we um, we go around that. So the first thing we want to do is uh, generate an Arnold light, um, set it to Sky Dome. I'm going to reset the exposure here, and it's important that you untick these cast shadows, atmospheric shadows. Let's try and see what that does. So yeah, definitely there's some light going on here, but uh, we have no shadows. So we're going to add a uh, light filter, um, on a light filter here. We're going to take and as I said, if you install this correctly, you should have a new category here called AO Light Filter with the Ambient Occlusion Light Filter in. Double click that, inject that uh, to the uh, to the slot. Let's go to the um, slate canvas here. And as you can see, it's basically uh, just a typical Arnold Ambient Occlusion Filter, but it's made in such a way that it works with the uh, the light filter up here. So what you want to do is uh, work with the far clip. Um, for debugging, I'm going to use red and uh, green, like this. Okay, we have no distance on, so it should all should all be green. It is. Okay, so as you can see here, the far clip. We're going to work a little bit with the far clip. You can see red starts to to come into the picture. Uh, and um, let's increase this a little bit. And if you want to take out some of the uh, closer edges here, we can we can pop the uh, fall off up a little bit, uh, so you get a more uniform uh, ambient occlusion effect. So um, so that's it. Um, let's try and dial this back to uh, to some proper. Uh, Lightning here, like this, and you can see here the uh, ambient occlusion is actually in effect now, uh, tracing uh, small cracks and stuff. Um, so and this is where it ended. Uh, without the light f filter effect, you could get this, uh, but um, no option to to shade the items uh, individually. I'm going to switch this one off. Go here, temporaries reload the, um, the original uh, shaders and lo and behold we have um, all the uh, scene shaders here custom scene shaders with the ambient occlusion uh, overlaid so so that's how it works and you can of course use this for uh, speedy interior renderers you can use it for exteriors you can use it in all kinds of scenarios where uh, skylight uh, is uh, too excessive and you just need to to trace around local objects so um, I'm going to try and close this one down and pop it up here and we should see shadows under the the table here so um, so that's it uh, that's how you set up and utilize the uh, ambient occlusion light shader have a nice one